Thank you very much for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Excuse the setup. I'm traveling with my family right now, so doing my best to keep you up to date on everything. All right, let's get to this. This is the strong tropical wave. Here's the Caribbean. Now, I do believe this could become a tropical storm. Once it gets a little bit closer to the Caribbean, conditions are a little more favorable for some development. But plenty of time to watch this. Either way, I do believe it will bring rain to the Caribbean as we get into next week. I want to dive into that with the European model and the uh, American model. Plus, this is an area of invest now. Uh, it is an area of investigation by the National Hurricane Center, which means they're keeping a very close eye on it as well. So you can see it here and nothing to organize. And that's because like we've been talking about over the last few videos, just to the north, there's a lot of dry air up here. So a ton of dry air, so not seeing this thing uh, develop uh, in any crazy fashion, which is some really good news. And again, a lot of time to watch it. You can see it's over the open waters now, but even the Hurricane Center, keeping an eye on it, they're painting in at least a 30% chance of development down the road. Now, once it gets closer to the Caribbean, and into the Caribbean itself. I keep an eye on everything, not just comparing computer models. I've been doing this for decades, keeping an eye on the wind shear, the dry air, the Saharan dust, the water temperatures, how deep that warm water goes. So a lot plays into this. And I do believe, again, it could develop into a tropical storm as it gets a little bit closer to the Caribbean. Now, here are the computer models on this. Everything showing this uh, tropical wave, and that's what it is at this point, making its way generally due west. And again, down the the road by next week, and I'll show it to you in a second, it will bring rain to the Caribbean. The question will be, again, as it approaches the Eastern Caribbean, uh, how developed will it get? And again, I'm still kind of looking at all those ingredients I was just uh, telling you about to see. Now, here are the computer models over time. I know this map is crazy, but this green shading here, that would be tropical storm. This yellow shading, that would be a hurricane. Now the computer models, as we go out over time, do gradually strengthen this, either keeping it a strong tropical wave or making it down the road, days and days away, a uh, tropical storm. Some of these computer models, these actually, they're not all the same. They're computers. Some are better than others. Again, some of these are not as reliable that want to make this uh, a hurricane, but I want to keep an eye on a couple of these down the road. The Icon and the uh, h -Worf, that's the National Hurricane Center a model. They do continue to have this strengthening. It has my attention, as I was mentioning, as we get down the road, as it gets closer to the Caribbean, as it gets into the Caribbean, conditions will become a little more favorable. So again, here's the Caribbean. Puerto Rico right here, Trinidad and Tobago here. Here's this tropical wave. This here is the European model. And you can see again, a healthy tropical wave out here, dry air just to the north. That's Don, by the way. I'll get into Don in a second. Uh, as we go out in time, let me take you out in time. This is through the weekend. And then I want to stop the clock for you as we work our way into late in this weekend. So this is by Sunday night. So Sunday night, here are our islands of the Eastern Caribbean. Here again is this tropical wave. The European model holds it together as a strong tropical wave as expected. A little uh, stronger though in nature than what I was seeing yesterday. It flares up a little bit and then going out in time further as we take you into early next week and then let me stop the clock here. This is by Tuesday morning and again you see it bringing some rain across the Eastern Caribbean but it's a little healthier than what it was showing yesterday. So that means that the European model is picking up on, hey, this could develop. Environmental conditions are possible for that to become a tropical storm. And then look behind it, which is typical for this time of year. Again, we're going to see a lot of waves getting stronger, another strong tropical wave. So again, this is by Tuesday morning. High chance of rain, parts of the Caribbean, waiting to see if it becomes a tropical storm. And then another strong wave back behind it. And let me take you way out in time, and this will change, but I'd like to show you everything I'm seeing. This is by the time we get into next week. This is a week from now. Again, whatever happens with that tropical wave will move across the uh, Caribbean, generally uh, moving due west, eventually toward Belize, Jamaica, the potential of some rain by later next week, and then another strong tropical wave out here, and more and more of the computer models are latching on to the idea that this one could develop as well, but even more so into a tropical storm or hurricane. So again, a couple things out there. It is still a little bit of a wait and see on this. Now, here's the American model. The American model now is 
trending a little stronger. So it's, it's turning this into a tropical storm. Again, European model usually does better, but it's not right all the time. It had some huge misses last year. American model sometimes struggles. Both models, though, are high-powered computer models. But again, you can't just compare the uh, models, and that's why I'm looking at everything out there. Here, though, is the American model. And again, you see it by the time we get into Sunday afternoon, a very healthy tropical wave. Then right after that, it wants to kind of flare it up into a tropical storm. And there's reasons for that. Again, the wind shear is going to relax a little bit. It may have less dry air around it. So going out in time as we get into early next week, the American model is trying to show this becoming a tropical depression and then eventually a tropical storm as it works its way near the Caribbean by the time we get into Tuesday. So Tuesday is kind of the day to watch. If something's coming our way in the Eastern Caribbean, be it a tropical wave just with some rain, or uh, with uh, it being a tropical storm, Tuesday into Wednesday, that would be kind of the time frame to watch. And again, you see this pulling into the Eastern Caribbean. The American model has this potentially as a, a weaker tropical storm, but I do believe it becoming a tropical storm is possible because I'm seeing down the road conditions becoming more favorable. Right now we have Don out there. We already had Arlene, Brett, Cindy. It's been a busy start to the season. Emily is the next name on the list. Franklin and then Gert after that. Harold after that. Hopefully not too many. All right, we get a look out here. This is the North Atlantic. Look at that speed right there. Still going. That is Don. And again, all on track for Don to eventually move to the north and then into the cooler waters and eventually fall apart. We get a look at the Caribbean. Now, we've had a little flare-up of some scattered showers around the Cayman Islands. Been watching near Belize. We had a couple showers overnight, parts of Honduras as well. Cuba scattered showers. Elsewhere, a little bit of a break. Again, all eyes are on these uh, tropical waves. Taking a look at on time for today, a passing shower. Not as much eastern Caribbean. Northern Venezuela, we could get a couple. Now, by tomorrow, there's a slight chance of a shower or storm passing by Aruba, uh, Curacao, and Bonaire. So let me take you out on time. Again, this right here on your map as you're picking a spot where you are, this is on Friday. The green would be the chance of some rain. And then going out in time into Saturday and stopping the clock here, you see Northern Colombia, Venezuela, scattered showers possible, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana. But again, we could get clipped by Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. And I point that out because we have been way too dry. Other spots need the rain as well. Jamaica, passing shower as we swing into tomorrow. Just a pop-up one. Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Montserrat, Seba, passing shower, but not a lot. As we go out in time into Sunday, again, scattered showers. That'll be the rule. A little bit more over toward Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, passing shower in Belize as we work our way into our Sunday pop-up shower storm. Sunday in Jamaica. Eastern Pacific, there is a tropical depression out there, but that is going to stay safely over the open water. So let me get into some forecasts, and then I want to kind of recap down the road what we're watching out for with that tropical development. Trinidad and Tobago, again, some scattered showers nearby, a 50% chance for tomorrow. Rain chance holding at 20% today and tomorrow in Grenada. Passing shower. Again, the rain chance is down some. St. Vincent and the Grenadines through the weekend, a 20% chance of a shower. And then working our way into St. Lucia, 20% chance the next couple days, 30% chance on Sunday. That'll be the same thing in Barbados. Again, rain chance down as a whole in the eastern Caribbean, working our way into Dominica, holding at a 20% chance the next three days, 10% chance in Aruba. But again, tomorrow in Aruba, Curacao and Bonaire, a slightly better chance of getting a few passing showers. So keep me posted in the comments and I'll be covering that for you tomorrow. Rain chance today in Guyana, a 40%, 50% tomorrow, a 40% chance the next couple days in Belize. No washout, but we've had a few showers around. Now, Costa Rica, again, we had a, a, a break for some of us. Rain chance picking up again this weekend, an 80% chance of rain and swinging back toward beautiful Jamaica. Rain chance 30% today and tomorrow, 20% chance on Sunday. Back to the uh, Cayman Islands. Again, we've had a few showers nearby uh, today. Into Haiti, isolated pop-up shower storm. Next three days, a 30% chance. Dominican Republic, a 20 to 30% chance the next few days. Swinging back toward Puerto Rico, heat advisories are in place. 
the rain chance is down and you see it as well us british virgin islands rain chance about 10 to 20 percent the next couple of days back into northern venezuela 40 percent chance tomorrow and again some of those showers may feed up into the abc islands bahamas rain chance 20 percent and mainly dry turks and caicos just a 10 percent chance today and tomorrow st kitts and nevis this weekend rain chance holding at 20 percent and a 20 percent chance the next few days Guadalupe and Martinique. Getting back toward Anguilla, rain chance 10% today, a 20% chance tomorrow. And as we work our way into Antigua and Barbuda, again, mainly dry, rain chance very limited. 20% chance today, tomorrow, St. Martin, Sabastasia, even over towards St. Bart's. Suriname, rain chance 40% today and tomorrow, down to a 30% chance on Sunday. So again, strong a tropical wave, that should say tropical wave, a strong tropical wave will eventually bring rain into the Caribbean. It could develop some. That's what I'm keeping a very close eye on. As it approaches the Caribbean, there could be some development. And then I showed you on the European model that strong tropical wave that I do believe will develop back behind it. But again, we're getting closer to August. We expect things to get more active. That is common for this time of year, and I'll continue to track it for you. So again, thank you for joining me. Keep me posted in the comments. I will do my best to keep you covered. I'm going to get back to my family now. Hope you have a great day ahead.